¿Qué tal la comunidad de Xbox Live? El día de hoy estoy muy emocionado, ya que en algunos de los salones de atrás, nuestros amigos de 2K nos invitaron a ver el gameplay de Bioshock Infinite. En lo particular, el juego que estoy más ansioso por probar en este 2013. Además, vamos a tener la oportunidad de hablar con Don Roy, quien es el productor de arte para Infinite. ¿Qué les parece si vamos con la entrevista y regreso a contarles los detalles? Hello, Roscoe. Hey, Booker. Four score and seven years ago. Keep looking, Lincoln. Ok, amigos de Xbox Live, aquí estamos con Don Roy, quien es productor de arte para Bioshock Infinite. Don, first of all, welcome to Mexico. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. I'm very excited. My first trip down, so this is great. In Bio One, the you get there and you see this amazing city, but you've already got there after the party's done. Um, Rapture is dead, and and so you, you're experiencing it that way, which was a great experience, and we're incredibly proud of. What we wanted to set out to do with Columbia was create a world that was alive, so that when Booker arrives to Columbia, that he's seeing a world full of people who are in the middle of their lives, that they've had experience, that, that it's very real. And throughout the course of the game, your interaction with Columbia changes the landscape of, of it. And that was important to us. That's what we set out to achieve with Columbia. That and, and the aesthetic. Um, the aesthetic is it's a different time peri uh, period than the original bio. So we're looking for, when you get to uh, Columbia, it is a city that looks like it's the 4th of July and it's a celebration and there's a lot of Americana. Um, and as you progress through the city, you see that it's not exactly what you think it is and it becomes very Bioshock. Now, you already played the game, so how does it feel to be on Booker the Witch Shoes? Um, confusing at first. Um, you, you definitely understand that you're downtrodden, you have a lot of debt, and um, somebody is giving you an out, and it's, uh, it's definitely dire straits for him. So he has one choice, and that is to find the girl and bring, him, bring her back. So it's pretty exciting, I think, to be able to play through as Booker. And then meeting Elizabeth and, and how she changes you and, and your understanding of, of the world and your interactions with her and, and the ultimate conclusion, I think, is very exciting. It definitely ramps up. We do kind of a slow burn in the beginning where we're getting you built into the world and the narrative, and then as you start to progress, it really ramps up um, to a place where it's all uh, cylinders firing, for sure. And finally, on a hand-to-drill fight, who do you think would win, uh, Handyman or Big Daddy? That's a tough one. The, uh, I'm scared of that drill, but <laughs> the Handyman can move around. I think you saw he bounces around and he's very mobile, which, so he's definitely got mobility on, on, uh, on the drill, but um, yeah, that's a tough one. I don't know if I can pick. Um, I think I'd be biased to the Handyman, but... But uh, it's hard not to love the Big Daddy. It's been it's been a great road for us of, of trying something new and really pushing the boundaries of, of what we can do. We have an amazing, talented team um, that have given everything to make sure that this is a unique game, but it is in Bioshock. And we're just, we're now waiting for uh, for people to be able to play and see how they experience the narrative. Um, we're very, feel very good that people will have a good time. Um, we're excited for you to play. 